Hello agents, hello everyone. So today I'm going to be discussing some MIGA stuffs, multi-year guarantee annuities. Um, you know, the MIGA is a type of fixed annuity that guarantees a fixed rate for a specific period of time. So the interest rate's guaranteed for a fixed period of time. And they're really popular for people that are looking for a low risk option uh, and a guaranteed accumulation. But we're going to be looking at is the risks inside of the MIGA, right? Because so everything has its own little risk, even though it's a safer product. We're going to look at like what is risky so what are the risk levels inside of a myg annuity right so first we're going to look at the safest the green light these are the cleanest the safest products inside the myg universe and they are uh, rop they have a return of premium guarantee this is one of the safest options available within the um, you know MIGA world. It is a return of premium, right? So this feature allows that if the owner of the annuity decides to end it, they will receive no less than the deposit they put in after surrender charges and everything. You can't get less than your deposit. So if you leave in six months, you get your deposit back, right? So no less than your deposit ever uh, guaranteed rate of return on that one. Um, minimum guarantee, I should say, right? R return of premium. Next would be the products that have a non-MVA. That's the market value adjustment. So they have level surrender charges, whether you leave early or just take excess of the free withdrawal provisions. Um, this is a moderate uh, level, if you will, if we're looking inside the indexes, right? Inside of these uh, uh, MIGAs. Uh, unlike the uh, MVA surrender charges that can fluctuate, the non-MVA products are going to give a flat surrender charge. So if it's 8%, you get 8%. It doesn't matter what interest rate environment is doing on the outside. Um, so it's a little more predictable and a little more stable um, down the road. Should interest rates do anything kind of crazy? Uh, and you need full access to the funds. And the next will be the red, the like most risky inside of this safe product, right? The riskiest would be the market value adjustment surrender charge. And this one says um, you might get a little bit higher interest rate, but these annuities are subject to fluctuations in the surrender charge based on how interest rates do. So if interest rates take off, so if you bought the thing and interest rate was three and interest rates go to seven, your surrender charge will increase. And conversely, if interest rates, you bought it at five and interest rates go to three, it may reduce your surrender charge, but we never really know. So it's the most risky, if you will, um, when you're accessing your money. Um, so you have the ROP is the safest, the non-MVA, which can't change, you know exactly what it's going to be from day one, and the MVA, which you're subject to market uh, conditions inside of interest rates. So those are those three. So now we're going to look at one other uh, option is like what happens at death. So in some of these products, the safest, the cleanest, the best ones would have a full death benefit to pay your deposit premium plus all interests from the day they receive the death claim, right? And you get 100% of that money, right? So the feature, the, um, the premiums paid plus interest provides the most peace of mind um, in this particular environment, right? So next we have the continuation at death. And what the continuation at death says, hey, there's a surrender charge, but you can continue the contract at death. So the beneficiary can just finish it. So. Um, basically what that means is um, policyholder passes away during the annuity term. The beneficiary can choose to continue the contract, which will offset any surrender charges. So if they bought a five year, like um, I know there's one company, like you buy a five year, God forbid the person died in the third year, the beneficiary keeps it for two years, then the surrender charge is over, then they can take it out. Because if there's a surrender charge at death and the surrender charge is in, then there's no big deal, right? So those are called continuation. And those some companies will allow them to continue um, that policy. And then there's ones that say there's just no matter what, um, a surrender charge at death. So for those willing to take, you might be able to, again, get a little bit higher interest rate. With this feature, though, the owner passes away during the term. The beneficiary can choose to receive a payout um, maybe for five to 10 years. That might be one way to offset the surrender charges. But if they try to take a lump sum, they're going to have to pay a surrender charge. So if the value is 100000 they may only get 94000 as a death benefit unless they take these uh, payout streams from five to 10 years. So inside of all the death benefits, there's little caveats. So there's the full death benefit is the cleanest. There's the ones that allow you to continue at death. So those are non-MVA surrender charges, um, unless you continue it. So you're going to have one of those. And then you have MVA surrender charges at death uh, where you have to do a payout. So you're talking five to 10 years past death uh, minimum, um, and you're restricted by certain rules and laws there. So basically, cleanness is full death benefit. Medium would be one that allows the beneficiary just to continue the contract. And the third would be a pure surrender address where you have death 
where you're going to get a charge if you take a lump sum and they may not even give the option of doing a payout. So that's by far the most risky of those. So those are the three risk levels inside the death benefit. Here's some basic disclosures for you. And that's the end of my presentation. In the end, basically what I'm trying to say here is that even though it's a safe product, inside of that safe product, there's even more um, things you can look at to give you more safety or more peace of mind. And there's the super safe ifs MIGA. And there are those MIGAs where if something should happen, you need extra access, there's a death, you could run into an issue there. So you have the yellow, the green, uh, and the red lights, if you will, the green, yellow, and red lights to tell you kind of how the safety of a MIGA is there. But overall, they're all gonna guarantee an interest rate for the term. So these are just in excess if anything else happens outside of normal situation. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're all having a great week. And uh, if you have any questions, give me calling under 373-9697. Follow me on LinkedIn and YouTube for the most up-to-date information. And we'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.